Welcome back to my channel Learn at Cloud Analytics. In this video, we will be looking at the different options and the different scenarios of query folding and the myth behind query folding as well. So in the previous video, we have looked into what is meant by query folding and uh, what are the different phases of using it. So in this video, we will be trying to understand when uh, or how does this query folding would happen and in case if we do not see that uh, view in native query is disabled then how do we re confirm that the fold, uh, query folding was not happened on that corresponding data source so without any delay let's get started so before we get into the dot technicalities of validating this let's first uh, give a quick recap on the query folding for uh, new users who are uh, who haven't uh, visited my previous video but uh, in case if you'd like to look at the detailed uh, analysis or a detailed explanation out around this uh, query folding topic then i'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can quickly go back to that video and try to understand the query folding concept in detail so just to summarize you, so query folding is nothing but the mashup engine in Power BI would allow us to transform the M language into the corresponding database language and which is, with, uh, which is what has been referred to as a query folding. Now, what is the importance of using this query folding means? Uh, Query folding would help us to improve the performance of the Power BI report that has been developed using that particular database. Now, query folding can be used or uh, uh, so query folding is applicable to a certain databases. So we would need to look at the possibilities of having that option included. Now, in this particular video, let's try to understand when does this uh, query folding would happen and uh, what are the different uh, ways of uh, validating if the folding is been really happening or not okay so query folding is usually been uh, validated from the query uh, editor that's from the power bi query editor where we perform all the required transformations on the corresponding table now as you see here in this particular example i've already connected to my mysql database uh, from and uh, pulled in the table called world and we see different types of columns being projected here. Now I've also done a couple of transformations as you can see in the applied steps and in order to validate if this particular transformation has been enabled with query folding, we can just right click on that particular step and see if this view native query option is enabled. Now when we click on this view native query, we can see that the mashup uh, engine has uh, transformed the M language into the corresponding database language which in our scenario it is the mysql language okay so we can see that i have renamed a column that is uh, the country name from name to country name so you can see that name as country name so which means that the uh, m language uh, the mashup engine has transformed this particular m language into the corresponding mysql language okay now if you just notice uh, a step by step you can understand if this query folding is really there or if that has been disabled now if you carefully observe for this particular step this particular uh, view native query is in a uh, disabled state so it's just an indication that it's possibly not taking place but to really find out what we are uh, going to do is we need to use some sort of a profiling tool that would help us to profile the queries that are being sent back to the corresponding data source to see if this is really happening and uh, confirm it back. So for that we can use uh, any SQL profiler or use an Azure Data Studio as well to verify it. But like in my scenario where I do not have either of those options, then how do I go ahead and validate if the um, query folding is really taking place on my data source or not? So let's try to look at the other option which Power BI has recently introduced uh, with an option called query diagnostics. So, but before we explore this particular option, let's first try to connect to a data source, to a new data source and validate this particular option. So for that, I'll be going to this uh, query editor again and within my home uh, tab, 
I'll go to this new source and I'll use the no data feed for this particular example and uh, give my no data feed here and hit on OK. And let's try to take a very simple table. So I'll just select uh, the customers table and hit on OK. Now while it uh, loads the data within the query editor, uh, we'll just uh, select which all columns that we require. So I'll just keep customer ID, name, and maybe just the region. So now I'll just right click on this uh, column and say remove all other columns and just keep these three particular columns. So you can notice that this particular transformation has been captured within my applied steps portion. Okay, now if you go to this uh, remove other step, uh, remove other columns, we can notice that view no a native query has been disabled. So like I did mention, we would need to reconfirm if this is really not a uh, query folded or if it is happening uh, in the database. Okay, but before that, let's try to apply another transformation and then we'll go, uh, go to that particular validation part. So I'll just filter this region to have uh, SP and uh, let me hit on OK. Sorry, yeah, I'll just hit on uh, SP and OK. Now, we see that we have uh, just the region corresponding to SP. Now, uh, we can also verify if that uh, native query is uh, disabled or not. So we can see that it is in disabled state. So uh, one other uh, thing to notice here is whenever we see that this particular uh, native query isn't grayed out, then for the rest of the steps, the same option would be there. Like um, we do not see that query folding option being enabled. Okay, so now let's try to see or validate if this really if this is really query folded or if it is not. So for that, I'll go to this tools and see this uh, diagnostics option. So here we have two different options of analyzing this. One is the diagnose step and the other one is start diagnostics. Now the difference between both of them is that diagnose step would allow us to jump directly to the corresponding step and validate the uh, uh, validate that particular uh, query folding option or if you go to this uh, start diagnostics right so if you uh, hit on the start diagnostics then that will run through the all the steps that we have performed in this query editor so since our requirement we'd like to validate if this query folding has really happened or not so i'll directly jump into the corresponding step so for that i'll go to this diagnose step and say diagnose step and that would uh, generate queries within a separate folder now as you can see there are uh, different queries being created we have one for the counters the other one with the detailed and then we have an aggregated now i'll just go to this detailed option detailed query and here if i just scroll through this list of columns that have been generated i'll go to this operation column and uh, filter this by get response stream and hit on ok Okay, now I'll just scroll towards the right side of my uh, view. And if you notice, uh, we see within the data source query that this particular request has actually query folded back to my database. Now, how do we ensure that this is happening? Because we see this query uh, being generated, right? And we can also observe that uh, whatever filter that we have applied. So uh, the we are filtering the region by SP. So we see that this condition has been applied and it is outputting the data. The output is uh, providing with customer ID, name and region with that particular filter being applied. So which indicates that though here in my applied steps, this particular native query is in a disabled state, but it is actually query folded to my data source. And through this, we are able to confirm that particular option. Okay, so I think this particular way of uh, observation or revalidation would allow us to reconfirm if that particular transformation has actually been query folded or if it has not been done. So in that way, it would help us to simplify the things and also reconfirm. So I hope 
This has helped you to understand or learn a new concept today by using this diagnostics option within Power Query Editor to validate through this query folding option in Power BI. So if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe and please do not forget to give a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Talk to you again then. Thank you.